All right, let's make fun of Biden. I'm going to just, sh I want to show you guys this meme that I saw floating around. This funny meme, check this out. <laughs> the supply chains right now, there's all these ships are spelling out, let's go, Brandon. <laughs> okay, so this is funny and also really sad. All right, it's funny because it says, let's go, Brandon, and, you know, haha, that's that's great. It doesn't stand, it doesn't actually mean, let's go, Brandon. It means something completely different. But if you see, none of these supply stuff is in the country. They're all waiting to get in. And I've seen countless videos of these people standing on the docks over in California, which I think San Diego is our largest West Coast um, place that people can bring stuff in you know most of the shipping goes through san diego as far as i know but these guys are saying hey normally we have a bunch of cranes operating you know behind me you can see there's this video there's you know there's a bunch of cranes and only one was moving he's like normally all of these are going only one of them's moving right now we're not allowed to work we're not even allowed to work they can't do their jobs and that's that's an issue like, it's like, who's actually stopping these ships from coming in and unloading this stuff? Now, I believe in American made. I spent some time in Sweden with uh, my wife's family. They're, I love Sweden. Sweden's fantastic and her family's fantastic. But one thing I noticed, you know, I, I've been paying attention to products. When I pick it up, I'm like, hey, where is this made? Where where was this thing made? Where Where's this mug made? You know, and I look at, and it's, uh, oh yeah, that's that's American made, baby. American made. Cool. Well, in Sweden, most things were made in Sweden, which was shocking. Like, everything I picked up, whatever you picked up, it was all made in Sweden. I was like, this is cool. Like, they make a lot of their own stuff. In America, you pick stuff up. Where is it made? China. China, 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 China. All these, like, made in China products. And they're crappy products. They're terrible. And then I think, like, man, what happened to quality? What happened to owning one microphone, right? I mean, for just this closest thing to me right this is a quality mic hopefully it doesn't break anytime soon this is my mobile mic it's actually really fantastic i really like this thing but i i like it a lot i don't want to upgrade it next year like my phone my phone's a an iphone 7 and when this thing finally breaks i'm not going to get an apple on a side note whatever i'm gonna i'm gonna get something that will hopefully last me another i don't even know how long i've had this thing for four years so maybe i'll have it for another couple years like who cares like it's it does the job i don't need some fancy thing to replace it i like what i have and i'm fine with using it until it dies you know quality products that's what we used to be known for american made should be uh, we should be proud of american made but this guy i don't think he is at all empty shelves joe is trending on twitter amid biden supply chain crisis there are countless pictures of this. This is one that I found on the internet. Oh wait, this is this is not. This is just funny. I'm gonna play this for you. Airport is PJ MT Shelf Joe. Please meet your party at oversized baggage behind carousel six. Carousel six passenger MT Shelf Joe. Please meet your party behind. How do how do these people at these airlines not? like how do they not get that how do they, how are they like oh yeah let me read this <laughs> this is what i was talking about my buddy sent me this and i just thought it was hilarious oh this one's good donnie the don <laughs> i didn't see this one we did it joe <laughs> we emptied the shelves <laughs> anyway i mean it's sad though I, i'm laughing because you know it's funny to see this kind of stuff but it's really sad because our society is built on a supply chain system. Farmers make, you know, grow stuff. It goes to the processing plants, whatever, and all the different products get made. And then they go to the stores. And that's where we go to get our food. If that food suddenly disappeared, what would Americans do? What would we be able to, could, would, could we handle it? Most people can't. Preppers are over there like, let me, uh, I'm ready for this. Bring it on. This is what I've been prepping for right the hashtag hashtag empty shelves joe shot to the top of the trending topics on twitter thursday amid the supply chain crisis threatening the nation's economy and holiday shopping social media users employed the tagline to rip 
President Biden for empty shelves and skyrocketing prices caused by the backlog of shipping containers waiting to dock at California ports. Just went shopping. Again, thanks to Empty Shelves Joe, I really love having to go every day now in order to find what used to take one trip. One account wrote along with a photo of a near empty shelves at a grocery store. I'm pretty sure at Joe Biden and the Democrats in D.C. are eating just fine and having no issues getting what they need. Another Twitter user posted, the rest of us lowly Americans who actually go to the grocery stores, not so much. Of course, it is just empty. And there are so many of these. Dozens of large ships have remained stuck in a traffic jam near the Los Angeles coast for more than a month, waiting to dock and unload goods, including toasters, sneakers, bicycles, and cars. The issue gained widespread attention this week as the delays dragged on, threatening the timely delivery of gifts for the holidays and leading to a longer-than-expected bout of inflation. On top of the backlog at the ports, there is also a shortage of truckers preventing companies from distributing supplies across the country. Experts warned that the cost of children's toys is as much as up as 10% ahead of the holiday season, and many in-demand gifts will likely be out of stock soon. The Biden administration on Wednesday announced that the port of Los Angeles would be expanding its hours of operation to 24-7 in an attempt to address the log jam. In, uh, with holidays coming up, you might be wondering if the gifts you plan to buy will arrive in time. Biden said at the White House, today we have some good news. We're going to help speed up the delivery of all goods across America. Well, why are those goods being held up in the first place, Mr. Biden? Hmm? Why? It's like you're, you're almost artificially making this happen so that you can save the day by letting these things finally get going. All right, well, here's the problem, okay? When food sits on a truck, food's perishable, right? Food won't last forever. A lot of foods come from other countries as well. And we're running into an issue where we will run into an issue where it'll arrive to the grocery store and be spoiled. So it won't even be good anymore. And that's going to have a cascade effect of people not being able to get the food, but then also um, the people that were trying to sell the food not making any money. And then, you know, it might gridlock our entire system. This is a scary situation that we're in right now. And this is why I'm huge for growing your own food, farming yourself, having a little garden to just to, you know, maybe share with your neighbors. Tomatoes, tomatoes grow so crazy. If you've never grown tomatoes or cucumbers, they, they grow really well and pump out a lot of of tomatoes. I, mean, I want to grow all sorts of things. And I will. Not everyone can. I'm, I'm not. I'm not suggesting that you can do it. But if you if you can, you should. You know what's what's wrong. I mean, I've had the farm engineer on my show a couple times. We've been talking about this kind of stuff about growing your own food and getting through it. American made, man. We need to go back to that. And you know what? I want to give a shout out to one of my friend's companies. This is a company that's 100% American made and guaranteed for life. And they did this post. This is from their Instagram, 1620USA.com. Uh, this is where this is a, a friend of mine made this this company. And I want to preface this by I'm not getting paid by these guys. They they're not they didn't pay me to say this. I truly love this company. I have a few of their uh, pants and shorts myself. I love them, and I I just love the the idea behind it. Okay, American Made is not stuck in a container ship. All right, first and foremost. Boom. Agreed. One reason it's cheaper to make goods in developing countries is that many of them have few or no regulations to protect the health of the air and water. Many factories overseas that produce goods for export to the United States also produce large amounts of hazardous chemicals that pollute the air, water, and soil. A 2014 paper by a team of Chinese researchers published in the Journal of National Academy of Sciences concluded that the U.S. has effectively outsourced much of its air pollution to China, where more than 33% of sulfur dioxide emissions and around 25% of nitrogen oxides and carbon monoxides come from the production of goods for export. There it is. We didn't just ex uh, outsource our jobs, outsource our products. We outsourced our air pollution. You know, all these... It makes me think of Greta Thunberg trying to tell Americans that we took her childhood, the West 
took their, her child. Okay, um, you know, we're actually on the forefront of trying to be green energy. Okay, you got to be yelling at China and the corporations that go across to get the cheap prices to skirt regulations and environmental uh, regulations that they had have to adhere to if they were going to produce stuff in a Western country, specifically America. Silence, silence from people like that. They're, they're getting mad at the wrong, uh, the wrong people. I'm not the problem. I'm very conscious. You see me wearing the same clothes. Uh, very, very rarely do I buy new stuff. And it's usually to support someone that I really like. Um, example, Tom McDonald's. Like the only shirts that I've gotten that are new is to support Tom because I really like his music and I love his message. And they're good shirts. They're, they're nice and soft and they're quality shirts. It's not just some like print a thousand Teespring. Like I don't like Teespring on YouTube. Those shirts are terrible. And the print is, is stuff. Like I don't want to just make money, right? I want to have quality stuff that it's going to last Something that will, and I, I want to make shirts. I, I was a model for 12, 15 years of my life. I know the fashion industry, and I cannot stand fast fashion. All these companies are making terrible clothing to sell. I mean, look at Old Navy. They're now doing size 0 to 30. Guaranteed, none of those clothes are made in America. Guaranteed, all of them are going to fall apart within a year. And... 30 different sizes or 31 I guess because zero is a size 31 different sizes they're gonna have so much wasted clothing that's just gonna be dumped into the earth we're not even there's so many things that are wrong with all of this right but this is why I love this company this is the front page of their website guaranteed for life that's right guaranteed for life you buy a pair of jeans from these guys or a pair of pants it's guaranteed for life you send them in they'll fix whatever is busted on them that's what I'm talking about that right there is American made to me you don't have to wait for a shipping container to get to you you just get the quality product yes it's a little more expensive they're like 200 bucks for a pair of pants 175 bucks for a pair of pants but it's worth it because you're gonna have those pair of pants for life that is if you you know don't <laughs> gain a bunch of weight and Loot or, or lose a bunch of weight it goes both ways whatever you know and grow out of your pants but they have hoodies they got t-shirts and and this i mean i just I, this is what i'm talking about this is what we need more of we need more of this quality over quantity people make a great profit on quantity but the quality is gone they're, they're not that's that, we shifted from that we used to be all about the quality quality products I mean there's still uh, the the guy that lived in my house was a blacksmith and he showed me some pictures of the uh, old smithing stuff that he used to that he still continuously uses I would have been so happy to have had him leave them there of course uh, me wanting to get into uh, metal smithing but he showed it to me and it was from like 19. 30 or something this old old like hammer uh, you know uh, one of these huge hammering systems where you put the metal in and it was like an auto hammer it was awesome the thing was so cool and it worked so well they don't make those kind of products anymore that thing probably will last another 50 100 years if it's allowed to run you know i, I don't probably you know, probably but i don't know Oh, see, this is the this is it. I mean, we've got so many issues across the the board. There's no one answer, right? I mean, we got to. Oh, my my brain's constantly like, how do we fix stuff? How do we how do we solve that issue? I want to instead of complaining, you know, I really want to like, how do we fix it? And I I think some of the answers are starting to bubble to the surface, right? Worry about quality, bring back meritocracy. Because that works as far as products that you buy as well. I want you to get the best product. I want to buy the best product for myself. I don't want to have to keep buying a new phone every year. I don't want to have to buy a new shirt because the one that I got, you know, fell apart. This shirt, I've had this thing for 10 years. This is an Arbor shirt, actually, from when I used to ride for Arbor skateboards. And they had, they have quality clothes. 
You know, I, I that's what I'm talking about. I like quality, and we gotta we gotta get back to that. Get back to quality, shall we? <laughs>